Ah, uh, it's part 21. I like eat. I like eating them donut sticks. Those are fucking good. I think they're like little Debbie or something. That's just good. That shit's good, but it's hard to eat while without. Try eating one of them donut sticks without smacking. You know that sound? Try doing it. It's it's impossible. Or at least very fucking hard. By the way. You're gonna want to hold the block button while doing this. I just pressed it fucking like once. I never used the head of URL anyways, so. If I had to say one thing, um, it's get God of War. If you want to play God of War one, one or two, get them on the PS2 or the PS3. Do not get them on the PS Vita. The PS Vita versions of God of War one and two are abhorrently terrible. Just the amount of shit, the amount of shit that you'd figure would be easy in the game is like completely impossible. The crossing of the lowlands is fucking hard as shit. Takes me 15 minutes every time on the PS Vita. Yet it, I do it first try on here. Look at my look at my health meters. They each go down like a fucking so weird. Um, the part with the ceiling in Hades on God of War One, you don't like when you fall off. You don't like hold on to the edge a little bit. You just straight up fall. Now here's good because you can slow down time. Yeah. They all just fucking died. I have my blades at level 5, by the way.
Since this pillar is broken, it doesn't stay up. It slowly goes back down. You're going to want to slow down time. Slow down time again. So you can get a little bit of extra draw time from it. That's how it's done. And that's a six fucking minute puzzle. Kratos only holding one blade. glitch where you can actually be like right here and it'll actually catch without being in that in there and die and have the risk of dying you can actually be uh you can actually have the mash circle shit you know where you have to mash circle to not die like that but you can be outside of that room it's pretty cool I hear from what I've heard is one of the another one of the more annoying fights on uh, Titan mode. Pressed it once. That's sort of random. Okay. I'm leveling everything, even the sub weapons up. I guess. Well, actually, I'll save the sub weapons for last because uh, I don't. I usually, I usually use Chronos Rage and uh, Titan's Bane, and I don't, I don't really use the. Uh, I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'm gonna have everything leveled up to max by the end of this game, but I don't really use the ahead of your rail. Atlas Quake's good too, but the sub weapons not that much. But I never use the head of your rail unless it's like NG plus and I have infinite magic.
I still have the eight hits counter up. It still says eight hits. That's sort of weird. But interesting. Now we're back here. Now we can save the game. I figure I can go ahead and show y'all the first Uber chest before I end this video. Uber chests are basically chests that they are they're fucking awesome. They're the best chests in the game. And I'm not talking about double D's, my nigga. Ha <laughs> ha. Got got him. Got him. You know what I'm saying? Got him. Either way, that gives a Gorgon Eye, and this give, this is an Uber chest. It's the same as the Gorgon Eye and stuff chests on God of War 3, except this gives a lot of fucking red orbs. A lot of fucking red orbs. Ninety sixty. As a matter of fact, I think it gives like 4,000 and something on hard mode. So it's almost half. That's still a lot of fucking red orbs. So I'm gonna save the game again, so you know. I, I usually forget that fucking chest for some reason, but. Either ways, I'll see you guys in part uh, 22. So, peace out.